Um, my name is Urška, and I'm the co-founder and CPO of Bellabit, a fashionable wellness brand. And at Bellabit, we are super excited about this new chapter in personal health, which is part of the digital health revolution. We are already using technology in terms of sensors and data and services to help us understand and better manage our health. We are already using technology. Excuse me, click. Oh, sorry. Or Thanks. <laughs> So we're already using technology um, to bring patients and doctors closer, to make, uh, to make patient care more personalized, more preventive, and better accessible. But what we're actually the most excited about Bella, uh, in Bellabit about this new chapter in personal health is that things for the consumer health companies became much more challenging. And why is that exciting? Because the last time I was here in Slash, at Slash talking about wearables for women, things were pretty comfortable for um, health tech companies like Bellabit. We were mostly catering to the early adopters market, um, where people were excited about technology or fitness or something very specific that drove them to buy our products. But this is 2017, and wearable tech and connected devices for managing and tracking health are going mainstream. Even my grandma knows what a wearable is today, but to get her to buy one is a different kind of challenge. And at Bellabit, we love challenges. What Bellabit actually is, we're the company behind one of the, like we like to think are one of the best designed wearable tech Comp uh, wearable tech products. Our vision is to bring innovation in design and technology to create products that not only work, but are also enjoyable to use. And when we started in 2014, we decided to find a gap in the market. And we found it in the female tech. Female users were, at that time, completely overlooked as users of technology, and our mission became to change that. So far, we have two major product lines on the market. The first one is called Leaf, which is a smart piece of jewelry that enables women to track their activity, sleep, menstrual cycle, meditation sessions, and creates stress predictions for them. And our newest product is called Spring, which is a smart water bottle that is able to automatically track and log your daily water intake and help you create personal hydration goals based on how, how much you are active and how well you are sleeping. That means that both of our products connect to the same app to give women an overview of their health and help them manage different kind of apps, aspects of their health. But in the new chapter of personal health, users are actually looking for something more. They don't want just data anymore, and they don't want just to be motivated. They want to be guided. They want to be told, told exactly how to use that data to change their lifestyle for the better. And that's why we developed Irie. Irie is our new subscription service that uses AI to help users understand and use their data in real life to change their lifestyle. It pulls the information for our health, from our health tracking products to create personalized coaching programs for them. So we already have a health tracking product, products and a subscription-based service that offer a complete solution to our users to change their lifestyle. But even though we do all of that, we don't see ourselves as a tech company. We don't even see ourselves as a product company. We see ourselves as a brand, a brand that has the opportunity to reach users directly and the possibility to change their lifestyles for the better. I think when technology was part of the mainstream, it was much easier to communicate it. But right now, companies like us have the possibility to establish themselves as a brand 
and get users excited about something more than just their own technology, to get them excited about their health. Because health is now part of our lifestyle. We are living longer, and we're trying to live that life with more quality. We see our health as a holistic thing. We are interested in many things that keep us healthy, not just our fitness, but also our emotional health, our beauty, um, our nutrition. We see it as a possibility, at the Bella Beat, we see that as a possibility to grow the market. Health tracking is now growing throughout different categories in the wellness market. So it's not constrained just on the fitness market, which is only 5% of the wellness market, but has possibility to enter all of these different categories where people are interested about their health. Another aspect of Bella Beat that is helping us uh, bridging the chasm is actually design. We are a very design-driven company. Our vision is to use the products and interfaces that users are already using or are used to to conceal technology and make it seamlessly integrated into their life. Because our vision is that preventive care or managing an illness should be an invisible part of our life and not another thing that overburdens you with too much information or care that you have to charge something. So I told right now what, is our, uh, what are our roles and challenges in this chapter. So we, have, we are catering to a much wider, more demanding market that is therefore also more interesting. And secondly, we have a potential to build a lifestyle brand. But in the future, I think companies like ours can become the future interface and experience of healthcare systems. We are the ones that are catering to the users. We are the ones that are teaching them how to use that data and are making it possible to use that data in real life. So at some point, when we get that connected to the professional healthcare providers, we will be the ones that our users feel. And hopefully, in that sense, healthcare will become a joyful experience and not a cold and clunky one that we are used to so far. Thank you.